Brother so Green is on chapter two. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. If you text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. If you text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 you know. Flippinar 258, we are in here. Uh, Flippinar 258, and I think I have the wrong um, thumbnail up there, Adrian. No. Uh, um, hold on, let me make sure. No, no. Uh, no, that's the right one. That's the right one. Okay. Uh, the title just uh, the title I had I was about to say was wrong. Um, uh, flipping our two fifty eight. Today's topic: uh, Hack Zillow to wholesale real estate using Zomps. You know, I mentioned it last week on Friday. Uh, we did it on Friday last week instead of Saturday. I mean, instead of Thursday. Um, so we're back. Um, Renikia should be back in another week or two, uh, but uh, Adrian and I are here to get down with you guys. So I discussed, uh, I mentioned to you all about Zomps. It's a Google extension that's free to try to help uh, 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 Zillow to leverage all that data into deals, right? Now, I did a lengthy video today, and I uploaded it. And if you want to access that video, I'll send. I'll, I'll put it up here in a minute. But if you want to access that video, I'll mention it on how to access and watch it and how you can get the free extension. What's wrong? I'm just laughing. It's another, another uh, you know, letter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Like, why are you even questioning? I don't even know what I was thinking, sir. <laughs> why are you even questioning whether it was going to be a card and a, a keyword for that? What that, was I thinking, y'all? Yeah, what, what was she thinking? Got a little cold, I assume that's what it is. You can't even get a cold now. You got, you got the question of where is the cold or not. Oh, and I ain't got no cold. It's in my head. I'm hurting. talking about me. Oh, I was going to say, God. I'm talking about God. me. Oh, just mm, So if I have to step, step away, and you all hear something sounding like an earthquake. I got a cold. Oh. All right, so um, that's me blowing my nose. All right, so uh, text the uh, word Gator if you want to join us live. To get pushed to the front of the line. Uh, 205-964-5243. Uh, also, before we get started, I turn it over to AP. Remember to do this. Subscribe to the channel by selecting this button here. Once you subscribe to the channel, tap the little bell, select all, so you now are alerted whenever we upload new videos like this one and when we go live daily. Boom, so over to you, AP. All right, guys, thank you for joining us live. Do not forget, I'm going to say it at the beginning, you can join us live, get bumped to the front of the line, ask your questions, and any follow-up questions by texting the word GATOR, G-A-T-A-U-R, G-A-T-O-R, to the number 205-964-5243. This is the place to be on a Thursday evening. We're talking about creative real estate investing and wholesaling mm. houses. Absolutely. Little to no cash or credit. Um, go ahead and post your questions in the chat. I'll read the questions and Ty will answer the questions. I will. Yep, he will. 
All right, guys. So Instagram, TikTok, I see you guys joining. CJ, you on Instagram. Who's switching it up, homie? Switching it up normally Double on YouTube. Up. Yes, I see you. Um, Millie go crazy underscore the favorite underscore Leo and 21. A pleasure, please, and thank you. Underscore Rick Nasty. I see you guys all on Instagram. On TikTok, I see Chosen Kid, Chosen Kiernan, Beno 314, Ambition. Um, NBA Young Toast. <laughs> okay, I see that. I got to stop even attempting to read these profile names because, yeah, I'm messing up. All right, and as far as YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, um, and all other streaming platforms, Tierra, Eugene, I see you, Lay Paris, Steph, thank you for being in the house today. Go ahead and post those questions. So you ready, Ty? Oh, let's get it. All right. You want to say anything about what's on the screen right there? Is that still available? Oh, yeah. Apps? Oh, yeah. Still available. I guess no one wants AtlantaCashBuyers.com. is still available along with me coaching you through unlimited deals. Call or text me. Go to the site. See what you're buying. But more importantly, you're getting a brand name along with me as your coach until they throw dirt on me. Anything that I know about real estate, I'm yours. I am yours. Boom. In a business way. In a I was going to say, that's what you can get all of that yeah. for the price. Oh, y'all, that's the deal. That's the steal. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tiara, absolutely. If you want um, Ty to look at the deal for you, join us live. Text mm. the word Gator to 205-964-5243. Um, it's a lot easier to comp a deal if you're on live with us. So you can ask those follow-up questions and give some information that might be needed to help you figure out whether you have a deal or not. Um, so don't post those address in the chat box. You need to join us live if you do want your property comp tonight. Um, Eugene, you're not quite the first. Tierra beat you into the chat room, but I'm glad you're here. Um, yep, the second you were, but either way, you're in the top three. Lay oh, yeah. um, wants to know, can you give us a land example? We I'm not sure what she means. What's a land example? A land example. Well, with the new tool that you're going to be able to use with Google Chrome. Zomps. Zomps. Mm -hmm. It's a play on the word comps. Uh -huh. You liked it? I liked it. Zillow, liked it. Comps, comps, zomps. zomps. It sounds like, like a chomp, like yeah. eating something, like zomps. Yeah, zomps. Like the gator goes zomps. Oh, yeah. Where, yeah. where, 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 where are gators like, at? What? I don't know what you be doing with them. I'm just saying. I saw, I saw like a look like it was silver and it was just silver paint, but it looked like a platinum coated gator head. And I was like, oh, we need that. That's like top tier gator right there. Where you see that? It was at Home Goods. Why you buy it? Because I figured we ain't taking care of the gators we got. We no, we're taking them care of them. It's not in here. Oh, okay. They're, they're being well maintained well, and fed. Okay. Yeah. I will get the new, new platinum coated gator for the upper echelon. Yeah. Let's okay. get it. Uh, we got somebody in the chat. Land right? example. You're supposed to be answering the parents' uh, a, a land example. A land example as far as what? I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. So when I whenever I start to show uh, uh, the new tool, Zomps, that's free. Um, and that's what she said. She followed up way down. She said land example using Zomps. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll do that. We'll do that yeah. a little later. We'll do that after we deal uh, uh, handle my man here, uh, Noble. Noble Dunn. Um, Hey, greetings, greetings, greetings. Hey, how are you doing today? How's it going, sir? Hey, it's, it's going great. Uh, you know, I've been I've been kind of following you off and on for some time. Uh, I'm still relatively inexperienced. This whole thing, I haven't really, um, I haven't really I haven't gotten started, but still kind of in my it's stuck in my head, like just something that I can really do. Um, like you obviously take the time to really, you know, do do the knowledge and then obviously put it in practice but i just got a uh just a couple questions man um well one i'm, I'm currently in uh california i understand you are in alabama yeah birmingham yes sir got you got you um yeah i'm currently in los angeles man and um i just kind of want your just advice man uh do you think i mean does it do you think it'd be more of a challenge to really try to capitalize on, on the deal here or does it really does it really matter no, nah, no, nah, you want you want you want to be right there. You're you're there in a market. Uh Metro, uh, I think we looked at it last week when it ain't over 10 million people. Might be 12, some ridiculous number. Yeah. Unlimited. Unlimited opportunity. You never have to go outside of Los Angeles County. Never have to go outside of and make an immense amount of money. Right? Number one, the real estate is higher. There's an unlimited amount of it. And as far as property owners, 
you just have to just put everything in play to start generating leads, right? Um, I talked to a gentleman the other day that's from out there, and uh, you know he's been investing for some years. He's on the multi-family side of. He does some houses, but you know he's been able to find deals for years. So don't let people tell you that. You know, just because the houses cost a lot more than what you'll hear us give examples here in other parts of the country, that's okay. The only difference is that your checks will be a lot bigger than ours, but you'll do the exact same thing, period. Got you. Got you. So basically, as, as a beginner with little to no money, basically just going after um, the distressed properties, kind of starting out to try to get that deal, you know what I'm saying? Basically, pretty much the same strategy. Well, yeah, you still, well, say, oh, yeah, properties that appear to be distressed, those are easy, uh, easier to identify. You try to reach out to the owner. But, you know, it doesn't have to be ugly or whatever. But when you're just driving around, those will stand out more so than anything else, right? And so, um, you know, you still out there, you definitely want to look at infield lots. Those are your vacant lots in neighborhoods that are obvious. You know, determine who the owner is of that property and reach out to them. Okay, now, um, I appreciate that. Now, one more question. Now, as far as uh, software tools, right now I'm using PropStream. Do you feel like that'd be efficient? That'd be, that'd be, that'd be oh, yeah, fun? yeah. Yeah, if you're using Prop, hopefully you sign up through Dilly later. But if you're using Prop, yeah, that's definitely uh, one of the tools that'll make this thing a lot easier to do. It's not going to do deals for you, but it's going to make it a lot easier to do, de to do deals. When I show the new tool, which I already put the video out on, I don't know if you watched it earlier today, but uh, the, my, the tool that I'm using with uh, as a Google extension to uh, leverage all the data that Zillow has on properties nationwide, that's going to uh, give a lot of people a little leg up on uh, you know finding their first deal and obviously deals beyond that. So, so stay tuned. Okay, I got you. Hey, man, God bless, man. I will be in touch very soon, man. I'm follow up with you. All right, no problem at all, man. Great right. get here for me. Have a good right, night. Look, look. Right, you too. Yes, sir. Boom, you too can join us like Noble Done by texting the word Gator, G-A-T-O-R to the number 205-964-5253. So on Instagram, underscore Rick Nasty says, how do you properly estimate the repairs a house needs? How do you properly estimate the repairs a house needs? Yes. Okay. Uh, now that can be all over the board in, in, in reality. You send out four uh, contractors on a property, tell them, give them all the same uh, info sheet on what you want done, and you know, they'll come out with four different bids, period. And then a couple of them may not even be close to each other in, in what the total number is. So just to simplify it, I saw a guy do this a few years back. Uh, he just base, bases it, uh, he just does a, a, a simple formula based on the square footage of a property and um, and if it's livable or not livable. If it's livable, you multiply the square footage times $25. If it's not livable, you multiply the square footage times $40. Um, now, I have a calculator on my website at digulator.com. If you text the letters DC, uh, to the site, I mean, to uh, 205-964-5243, that video, uh, I mean, that link will take you over to the actual, the deal page. But if you go up to the menu bar, you can select the repair estimate, uh, calc uh, est repair calculator. calculator. Yes. And that simplifies for you. Now, that's not set in stone because you're getting more higher end houses. You may want to raise those numbers, even if you just get in a strictly rental uh, neighborhood. You may not have to spend uh, per a dollar per square foot the same, but generally speaking, those numbers will work in a lot of cases. <laughs> okay, wait. What? I'm just laughing at CJ. CJ, oh, he's just the ball of joy, and. The one that cost salt and pepper last week. You know, CJ. Salt Charles. and pepper. Yes. Okay. He says, listen, it seems that MLS boys always want the retail and reject the wholesale MOA. It's like we don't know what we are talking about. Um, no, he says, of course. Love you guys. I'm eating my pot pie while turning in. Ooh, I'm a Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Sounds so good right by now. What but that ain't what we're talking about. Huh? McAllister's. 
Marie calendars. Oh, uh, Marie calendars. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in the green box. Thing. Yeah, okay. in the green box. Yeah, yeah. Um. So the question: MLS boys always want the retail and reject the wholesale. So is that why you MLS this? boys? Who is that? I guess the realtors are oh, okay. getting MLS. it from MLS. Okay, yeah. That's why that's not the best route to gravitate to unless you're just really experienced. Yeah, if, if you know what you're doing, there's okay. opportunities there. Just like with anything, you're going to have to make a lot of offers to get the ones that are going to be deals. Mm -hmm. Just like with anything else. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Tierra, yeah, go ahead and come on and join us live. We'd love life. to look yes. at that join party us for you. Um. So Evangelina, hey, from Dallas, Texas, Evans Bisanti, I think that's right. And they love in Bay says, hey, Flipman, do you work with people who have deals in the state of Maryland? Most definitely. Yes. OK, so when wholesaling a commercial property, an apartment, how can I know when it's a good deal? Do I analyze comparables or potential income from the property? And this is from Aaron Wright. Okay, so they're asking when they uh, analyzing a multifamily property, uh, aka in apartments, uh, do you um, evaluate it based on comparables or the income it can produce? Okay, so you really try to do both if if it's, if it's available as far as comparables. But if not, you're gonna the, the income that it it can and or is producing is the real evaluation. And what we mean by that, how much income is it bringing in? Subtract the expenses that gives you your annual annually over the course of a year. That gives you what we call your net operating income, also known as NOI. All right. And then you'll need to determine what the cap rate is for a particular area. But what is the cap rate? Uh, capitalization rate is, is basically what is the rate of return on someone's investment over the course of a year. So the cap rate can be 3%, 4% uh, in some markets, 6%, 7%, 8 9 So um, if you get something significantly lower, and I know this only probably makes sense to you, a lot of you all. Uh, then there's an opportunity there. And, well, let me just say, it doesn't have to always be significantly lower with apartments because there's a long-term play in most cases, a longer-term play than just a fix and flip on houses. Huh? It, it just, it's just it's more complicated. Than that, but go ahead. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Eric Carney, our movie called Guru, says, what's up, Flip Anthropist? And good day, oh, hey, that's me. I miss Rennie the Pretty, but I know I'm in great hands with the Nicholas Originals. Yay, yay. I see you. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Um, Brian Hall says, when dealing with an agent, what numbers do I need to keep in mind? Uh, the deal's still going to have to make sense whether an agent is involved or not. It's just the agent may make it more difficult for you to pull that deal off. That, that's the issue with it. You know, because they have their own self-interest, find itself their own financial interest within that transaction. You have to keep that in mind. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they're going to want proof of funds. They're going to want um, uh, probably at least a $1,000 earnest money deposit. So you have to keep all of that in mind. All right. Thank you for answering that. And you're um, so welcome. <laughs> Derek Childress says, hey, Flip Man, and thanks I like for this all shirt. Hey, Adrian designed this shirt. You know what I'm saying? I like this color that. scheme. You designed that. Huh? You designed it. I, I didn't. I, no, I didn't. I, I just told you what I wanted on it. Oh. You designed it. I just told you, you know, you know, yeah. text me and I'll text you back. Gotcha. And I thought that's the one you wouldn't like looking like. Yeah, no, you, I, yeah. Most of the time, I don't even give you. I don't even tell you what to do. Mm. I just tell you what, you know, similar to my graphics guy. Well, yeah. I have to tell him what to do, though. You but tell me what you don't like, though. Yeah, well, you know, I yeah. think you can take yeah. some constructive criticism. Yeah, from those who are genuine and um, are trying to uplift with their criticism. Yeah, absolutely. I well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to, I'm always trying always. to uplift. Yes. Lift. Hate, hate ain't one of my qualities. You know what okay. I'm saying? There you go. Um, I think, I think, and I'm saying live. For everybody, once you pull out your Zomps shirts, you should have some type of giveaway where they can 
represent Zomps in their Yeah, area. yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll See. do that. Ah! I'm trying to get y'all some merch. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so Derek says, hey, Flipman, and thanks for all you do to help everyone. And Wanda, who's from Virginia Beach, Oceanfront, Oceanfront, Virginia Beach. Oh, that sounds about nice right about now. So Wendell Wilcox says, Ty, would you recommend wholesaling fire damaged homes wherein the bank has paid the house off and there's a shell left to rebuild? Okay, so yeah, you could. I, we have one on the contract. Well, just did. Well, no, we didn't. Yeah, was that a fact? Well, we, we have one on the contract right now that the whole roof off, but somebody wanted it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just uh, got the email today, waiting on the buyer to sign the paperwork, probably close it by Monday. So, yeah, um, but I got to get it. You got to get it cheap, though. Woo! Depending on the neighborhood, got to get it cheap, cheap, cheap. Because you might have to take it down to the foundation. Uh, you might have to just scrape it. Yeah. Or whatever. So you got to get it. So, you know, you got to get cheap. Just cheap, cheap. Yeah. Tierra, yes. You are live, love. We are absolutely live. Um, hey, you're in here, baby. Uh, L-I-B-A-E. But what I mean is join the live. Join it. Join us on screen um, by texting the word Gator to that telephone number so you can answer any follow-up questions that we may have in regards to the property that you're talking about. But I will notate that address for when we dive into Zomps and looking at land. So thank you. Um, and thank you to everyone else that's responding in the chat to those questions that I may miss. So you get asked this a lot, Ty. Yo. Honey Turn 72 says, hey, Flip, mm. if you had $10,000 and mm. wanted to go into real estate, or wanted to be a REI, where would you start? Um, well, first you want to take advantage of all of these free videos I have on my YouTube channel so you educate yourself. Once you educate yourself, you should have a good sense uh, and also take advantage of all of this, uh, me answering the questions in the comments of any YouTube video. I do those on a daily basis. So if, that's, if you want to get free advice from me, that's the best way to do it. Got a question, post it in the comment section of any of my YouTube videos, in YouTube shorts, and I answer those. And then you join in the live. Okay, so uh, now you just know the business boils down to finding deals and, and placing buyers with them. So uh, you can spend a little of that money to start to generate leads. Uh, text messaging is a really good method of doing that. Uh, you can just text the word text, T-E-X-T, -E to the number 205-964. 5243. And uh, that video there would the explain how to uh, set up your text message campaign. So you would be out of less than $500 of that 10,000 initially. And, um, and uh, so uh, you should have to, if you do it right, you spend very little of that 10 grand or whatever. So, you know, uh, that's the, the least expensive way of, uh, of doing that. So but uh, just but just try to hold on to as much as that as possible, period. Because you know, I say you start with that five hundred. You you may be fifteen hundred in before you get the first deal. But in most cases, that first deal is going to pay for all of that, plus a, a handsome profit along with that. All right. We do not say this enough, guys. But if you're here, you're in the live chat. You're on Instagram. You're on TikTok. Bam! Hit the like button, people. James. Oh Bowers yeah, yeah, yeah. You so. know what I've been, I, I ain't begging, but I'm sorry. I am. We don't ask for much. They, uh, I we watch don't. these guys. I watch. Uh, it's called the um, My First Millions mm -hmm. podcast. They do a thing. Say this is a gentleman's agreement. I guess we got. Uh, we got a lot. We have a lot of females watching. I don't it's think still they, called a gentleman's agreement. It's still, it's still called a gentleman's agreement. Yeah, yeah. The gentleman's agreement that I'm trying to provide you information on. Uh, how to make money to change your financial situation. Correct. The least you could do is two things. Like, well, well actually, three and things. Subscribe. Uh, subscribe Share. first. Uh -huh. Subscribe first. Tap the little bell to turn on the all so you get the notifications. Mm -hmm. Then like it and share it. That's all I'm asking. Three things. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. And I, I try to do my best to try to provide as much. Uh, knowledge that I that I know with this little pea brain to uh, to help you make some money, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's all we ask: subscribe, okay. like, and share. 
subscribe, like, and, and share. If you're on uh, oh. Instagram or TikTok, follow, like, and share. Follow, like, and share. Okay, there you go. Rhea on Instagram says, hey, Flip, at what point should you ask a seller to go under contract? At what point? Uh, well, so at what point do you ask the seller to go under contract? As soon as you all agree on a price that works for both of you all. Okay. Period. You know, that's just time to paper up then. Time to paper up. Paper up. All right. So we got Gino. Hey, Gino. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. Where are you uh, joining us from? Um, Right now I'm in Utah. 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 Okay. What part of Utah? A little small town called Burnham. Okay, that's what's up. It's cold there. Oh, super cold. So much ice on the ground. Man, oh, you know, you, really? You, what, what do you think the temperature was here today? Uh, I'm gonna say sixty something. Man, we yeah. wish. I think it was eighty two, wasn't it? It was supposed oh, to be eighty two. I don't think it tipped over like seventy eight. Okay, it was hot. It's this, ridiculous. This, this, this not this not normal, but we we have unpredictable weather. We we may get what you got, but you know, then but it, this weekend it's supposed to go ahead and drop. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah, but yeah. that's why we have so many storms, because to get that transition from being so hot to so cold, you got to have something come through. Yeah. And that's what not. That's why we have all yeah. these daggone tornadoes every other week. Yeah. Right, dog? And the only place I know in Utah is Salt Lake City. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Salt Lake, yeah. yeah. How, how, far, how far is it from Salt Lake? Like two and a half hours. Okay, long way. Okay. <laughs> all right. What, what you got, my man? So I'm, I'm kind of late to the party as far as the wholesale... Um, Real estate going on. You've been coming across my radar for a while, but I just was sleeping on it. I'm not gonna lie. Then here recently, it it it, it uh, you know, kind of came came to me like an aha moment or something. And I started following you and doing my research. I'm one of those guys that do my due diligence before I kind of just jump into something. Uh, my question is though, with this year being a, a quote unquote re I guess recession year in the real estate market, um, do you think it's a good time to to, to get in now, or you know, it, it does that make hey. it more difficult? Uh, Gino, it's always a good time to get in, man. Stop watching the news unless they make unless the news tells you that they've just made real estate all real estate free. The opportunities will be endless. Uh, now, not saying that a recession or something like that doesn't affect it in some way, but for the most part, the money uh, normally when it's supposed to be bad in the real estate game, that's when you really make a lot of money because not normally it's a lot of discounted real estate. On the on the, on the street per se, so yeah, it's a great time to start, man. Uh, so you do your due diligence, you know, do your homework, and uh, just take action. Just understand, uh, not that we want to make mistakes, but it's okay if you do make mistakes. Uh, that's one of the great things about this business; it normally doesn't put you out of business, but you get that experience that could be more valuable than anything that I can teach you, right? So it doesn't have to be. My point is, it doesn't have to be perfect in order for you to make money. Okay, one last question. When you, when you do be a seller, a motivated seller, and you get a money, why do you want to, um, it, it's called earnest pay, I think? Like between earnest money? And yeah, earnest money. Yeah, earnest what, money, what, okay, what, so. For that? So earnest money is basically just saying, hey, I'm serious about buying your property. Now, how serious are you? Um, uh, how serious are you? <laughs> Is, is is for judgment because it could be 10 bucks, 50, 100, 1,000. You know, it could be more or whatever. So it, it's just whatever you and the seller are, are, are agree upon. But in most cases, if someone's motivated to sell you a piece of real estate cheap enough where the numbers work, the earnest money deposit is irrelevant in, in, in a sense. But you still need to put it up because okay. that's your recourse if you don't close the deal. Copy that. All right, hey, man. I appreciate you, bro. All right, no problem at all, man. Please, please join us again. All, all right, have a good night. All yes, sir. Good all, right, all right. Tierra, you finally came on in, but nope. I see your profile picture. No camera, like your though. Profile name. Turn, turn your camera on. No, oh, there she go. <laughs> Hello, Tierra. Hey, how are you? What's, hey, what's good? What's going on? Where are you live streaming from? Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, what's happening? What you got, baby girl? So my next door neighbor um, had some land. Her dad died back in 1951 oh. in Rockingham, North Carolina. She just been holding it since then. Wow. Um, so I walked up the street to talk to her about a house, the street where a man died. But she told me she had five acres of land. 
so that she wanted to sell. Another wholesaler um, told her that they would give her 12000 but that was only the taxes on the house. Mm. So um, I looked at it. I actually found the address. It's not on um, PropStream, but it's on Zillow. You want me to try to look it up? Please, because okay. I need help. I got a meeting with All them right. on Sunday. Okay, so let me see what we can do here. Uh, let me share my screen. Um, For those of you on Instagram and TikTok, we're about 30 minutes in. Um, Ty is sharing his screen as we go in to look at a possible land deal. Um, What's the address? Information. It's 139 Sunday School Road. 139 Two. Sunday School it's a church on that street, ain't it? Uh, well, it's just land right now, but I'm sure what, what, it was. <laughs> what city? What city? Uh, Rockingham, North Carolina. Okay. Two eight three seven nine. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, boom. So five acres. Okay, and. All right, so technically we're in Zomps right now, um, and I'll explain this a little later. So if I take that address that I just put in, let me let me go over here to um, to Safari. I'm using Google Chrome on the other one. And um, what was that? It was one three nine Schoolhouse? What was Sunday it? School. Um, Sunday School, School Road. Sunday School Road. Okay. All right. So so now I'm in. Um, in here, and uh, if I close this in in uh, in uh, Safari, you see how the map doesn't fill the screen. So one of the features of Zomps is that the map fills the screen. Okay, all right. So what I'm looking for here right now. So I'm going to just try to zoom in. Normally, it's right there near where the road is. Mm -hmm. um, if you zoom, in, I wish Zillow would give us that option to identify the actual area itself so let me find that road first of all and then i'll try to see what i can do to comp this property if there's enough data all right um sunday school road uh sunday school road there you had a picture up um before you switched over to zombs yeah, that was just the information on it. I really need okay. to look at the map so I can see the the um what's sold in here. Um let me see. Sunday School Road. Sunday School Road. All right. Um let me do this. I'm gonna try to use um Sunday. Sunday school road. Yeah, tell them we know where we at. <laughs> right. It's okay. It took me a minute to find it because um, the tax assessor's office didn't even know that it existed okay, until so, I went to Zillow. Oh, it's about 117. Okay, so so one is 117. Uh, all right, uh, where's 117 at? Do, 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 do. I need to zoom in a little more. Okay, that's 121. Okay, that's 121. Let me see here. So that's... It must be down here. Let me see. Okay, there's there's one. Okay, that's one seventeen right there. So should be right up in here. There it is. Okay, mm -hmm. boom. There we go. Okay, boom. There we go. All right. So, all right. So um, now I'm just looking at. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go back in here and look at uh, properties that are sold. And uh, by agent, owner, it really doesn't matter. And then the property type. Uh, I'm going to deselect everything but lots. And um, 
Okay, so I know I'm right in here somewhere. So all of this is basically in play. Okay, so it's five acres, you said, right? Yes. Okay, so like, um, now look at this. <laughs> this was 26 acres and it sold for $6,000. Okay. Mm. It seemed like a great deal. You know, I don't have no idea. But based on this, and this one of the other thing that Zomps does, it breaks it down to you by acre. So this basically sold for $230 per acre. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's another one right here. Uh, it sold for um, uh, $5,300 per acre, right? So over 4000 a little less than an acre. All right. Um, get something a little closer down here. Okay. So now this one is an actual property that's for sale right now, but it must have sold. Um, it must have sold back then at 17 and now mm -hmm. they're trying to sell it for 35 so basically half of that. So that's basically about 30, 3,800 an acre, uh, 3,800 an acre. So here's mm -hmm. another one right here. Um, not quite an acre, but it sold. If I, if we average it out, it's just only a partial of a, probably about a quarter of an acre. Uh, mm -hmm. It's over 13,000. So these are all over the place. So this one right here sold for 15, uh, not quite an acre. And it sold for 18,000 per acre. Now that one is really close and it may have had a house on it. What made this one a difference is looking mm -hmm. at that. So, um, cause it's over how much, uh, yeah, 15,000, uh, which wasn't a bad deal. Uh, cause yours is right in this area right here. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so how, what, what time frame we have on this? Um, so this is in it. So it's really not a time frame on it. So good. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna go down a little more down here to see. Um, so that sold for 10,000 per acre. Okay. Uh, so 10,000 trying to get a, some pattern here. This is all over the place. Um, that's where I was, that's where my confusion was coming in at. All right. Uh, we got two units up here. I wonder what that means. Not sure. Okay. Um, Most of your activity is over here. Let's see. That's 15,000. So that sold for 16 an acre. Okay. So that's a little, so that's the higher end, it looks like. Because if I look at that one and then um, this one right here, between that 16 to 18 per acre. Mm -hmm. So if I just go with the uh, the eight the eighteen per acre, which is right here by it. Mm -hmm. Now um, this property had it looks like it had a structure on it or something. But if I go with that, uh, and that's five acres, so not quite a hundred grand. So we're looking at um, um, eighteen thousand plus. Um, so that's ninety thousand. Let me see what this one sold for again. Okay, so yeah, see that was sold for seventeen an acre. Now they're trying to sell it for, um, uh, I'm sorry, it's over thirty eight hundred an acre. Not that one there. Uh, it was another one in here. Let me see. Okay, yeah, this is the one that sold for sixteen an acre. Let me look at this one. Let me dive into this one a little bit to see if there was a structure or something on it. I'm gonna pull okay. this up in prop stream. All right, and. Okay, see, like this had a house on it also, it looks like, mm -hmm. but I can't see it. The uh, Google Maps didn't go down there. So I don't know if that's a mobile home, which just I know there's a mobile home right here, mobile home uh, for sure. Um, that may be a double wide right there. And what do we say it sold for? It sold for 15000 for an acre. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to say just because it appears the ones that sold for 16 and 17 per acre, mm -hmm. they had a mobile home on it, and but this one doesn't. So, like this right here sold for um 13 an acre. And let me make sure this what 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 did it have on it? Let's see. Okay, so now this one didn't have anything on it, it appears. And then mm -hmm. let me, okay, I can look at it. So, yeah, so that one didn't have anything on it. All right, so cool. That's a good comp right there. We'll roll with that. 
So this one here, all right, so it sold at 13,000 an acre. And your property, okay, so that was uh, this one right here. Let me, I keep getting confused on it. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah, so it's this one. That's a very small. See, it only sold for uh, 3,300, but if you average this out, there's uh, 43,560 square feet in an acre. This lot here was only uh, 10,816. If you want to see what the decimal is on that, what you can do is you can go over here to Google and do square, square feet to acres. So what you would do is take this number here and you just put it in this... Uh, is estimated so that's 0.25 acres. Like I said, I thought it was about a quarter of an acre. Okay, well, five so, acres, I think it came out at um 218,000. No, no, feet. well, what, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but we know five acres, so I see it's okay. already averaging it out for you. See, it's taking okay. this and turning it into what it would be per acre, even okay. though it only sold for this. But if this was an entire acre, it would have sold for that. Right. Okay. So I'm yeah. going to say 13,000 per acre is your number because there was nothing on that property. And that's close enough to make that number. And so at five acres, so it would be worth 65,000. So ideally, what I would be trying to do is I would start out it, with what the uh, county says worth, which is 12,000. I would say, would you take, you know, 3,000 over the county value, which is 15? Mm -hmm. That's what. That's why I would start, but you could probably easily go up to 30000 and still have a handsome payday. For the seller. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that's what that's what your offer would be to them is between 12 to 15, but you could possibly go up to 30 and still make 10, 10000 or so by selling it for 40 or so. Um, I remember one of your videos where you showed that if there is a company next to it, um, there is a gravel company right across the street that own it, and there the corporation is in Alabama. I did contact them. Uh, they just want me to send the information over about po possibly buying it because it's directly across the street. Mm -hmm. But if that doesn't go through, um, are you able to partner with me? Is it enough money for us to partner? Yeah, here, here, here's the uh, gravel. Uh, most definitely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they the own company. Vulcan Company owns all that. Yeah. And oh, so, Vulcan is, yeah, Vulcan yeah. is right here in Birmingham. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the gravel company you must be talking about right here. Yes. Yeah. And they own that. They own that little white house to the right and all that little land back mm -hmm. there. Okay, cool. Yeah, most definitely. Okay. So is there, it, can I schedule a time to talk to you about it or? Yeah, do this. Text me on the 205-964-205-964-205. Two zero five nine six four five two four three, and no, I will, I will, we'll get on the phone with each other. Okay, thank you guys so much. Uh, no problem. Thank All you. right, okay. bye bye. Yeah. Have a good night. So that was the first iteration of the ZOMPZ. All right, zomps, zomps. There it is. What do you right. think? It was nice. It was nice. At first, I was like, uh. But that's just everything. But trying to figure it out. That's why you gotta know how to navigate this stuff. Like yeah. you have the tool right there in front of you. But if you don't know, how yeah, you don't know what you're looking it, for. You know See that per acre. That's that's what we added. That's not a Zillow thing. That's what Zonk added to oh. see it by per acre. That made it easier because she, hers was in acres. So that made it easier for us to figure out what we could what what it could probably sell for, which is around you know thirteen an acre. Gotcha. Right. And so now, you know, she's talking about 12,000, which is what the county says worth. So she's considering something that. So I would just say, hey, would you take $3,000 over the county value? So she still walks away with a little bit. Oh, a little change yeah. change. change you know? Yeah. And then she, she probably could, could wholesale that for probably 30 plus to maybe 40. Mm -hmm. And on the flip side of that, mm -hmm. um, if she set it up right, she could own or finance it out and then really come up with a significant payday. Right. She may get someone, she may sell it to someone for 65, mm -hmm. but get them to put 25 down and finance the other 40. Gotcha. So uh Keezy Diaz says, How does this work in a non-disclosure state like Idaho? Um, very difficult. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's where you need prop string. Um, gotcha. you know, with, with that, that's where you need prop string. 
Because uh, Zillow doesn't work with non-disclosure states as for sales. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me back up. Okay. What you can do, though, is, and I'm going to show probably later. I should have showed on that one. Mm -hmm. But you can now look at properties that are for sale. And that's where another another added feature that we made it uh, a little easier to look at on Zillow to make sense just by looking at what properties are for sale in that area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so DeSoto Driving School says, is there a way to target certain brackets of income on Facebook to run wholesale ads? Um, I hadn't personally ran ads in a minute uh, because I have people to do that for me. So I can't answer that question. You know, if you're already in it, then you probably know. Um, I think Facebook sort of sort of shies away from that because that could get into some discrimination, what they would consider discrimination on uh, on. Um, Discriminatory uh, practices. Practices. That's exactly right. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah. Look, I know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but 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 you could probably uh, you could probably base it on certain pages that people follow that may determine some type of uh, income uh, levels or whatever. You know, some financial pages. Are you not up. able to? No, I was gonna say there's nothing that you can do zip codes because it's obvious to. But that's not information that would be readily available on Facebook, would it? I like I said, I hadn't personally ran ads in a minute, so I don't I don't know. Mm, okay. So my so my so-called fasting life, my life is so-called fasting too until mm -hmm. I'm not fasting. I don't know. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. So she said you did a short this week about using other wholesalers to build out a cash buyers list, but I don't follow. Aren't they also in search of cash buyers? Can you connect the dots for me? Yeah. Uh, so you say you use other to build a cash buyers list. Okay. So um, whenever you're dealing with a wholesaler, you have a property, right? Right. And that's what I meant by that side of it. You have a property. They will furnish a buyer. That's not their buyer. It's just a buyer. Now, some wholesalers, I had a lady to tell me one time, you know, you do know everything you do for, with this buyer, I'm going to get paid on it. I'm like, no, nah, that's not how this going to work. Because I wouldn't do that. You know, once I'm introduced to them, you know, I'm doing business yeah. with them also. Huh? That's not how that works. That's not how that works. So every time they eat, you eat? No. Oh, that ain't, no. no. This ain't an affiliate program. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Y'all got some buddy so, so, daddy worked out. No, nah, so, you know, it's going to come out. You know, it's not like I can't, even if you, it's just no way for me not to know who that buyer is. You know, because mm -hmm. the transaction is going to be recorded, even if I never meet them. You know, I can still figure out who it is. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. She said that I did. No, no, I ain't talking about her. I'm just saying the lady that. No, um, we, yeah. we, me and my so-called yeah. fashion life, we know you ain't talking about her. Yeah, but that, that's, what I, that's what I meant by that. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So Justin's triple four, are hard money lenders still worth it in 2023? Uh, other people's money is always worth it if you can make a, a substantial profit off of that, such as real estate. Just got to know what you're doing. OPP. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leverage. Leverage. All right. Um, H Media Associate. H Media Association. Boy, I'll be figuring out these names. Um, so I'm new. I need the 60. I read the 68 pages and have two more videos to listen to. What's next? Well, um, now what I would encourage you to do is to really take advantage of all my uh, free videos, uh, starting with uh, the playlist. If you text the letters VIP to the number 205-964-5243. That'll really get you going in the right direction, like for real, for real, right? Mm -hmm. That'll correct. really get you going in the right direction. Correct, correct. So Big Lex Dog on Instagram, and we just talked about building that cash buyers list, but the question is, should we be looking more for buyers or sellers starting out? Well, I used to be on the seller side of that before, uh, but with the um, the power of social media, and how you can leverage uh, being in uh, real estate investment groups, wholesaling groups. You no, know, it's easy to, to uh, connect with buyers. You can have 10 buyers in one day, literally, that you could, you could connect with. And then you can go feed uh, that list of buyers through the hard work of other wholesalers. Because a lot of wholesalers, 
uh, can put only one part of a deal together. They may can stumble across a deal and you just place a buyer with, it, you know, through your uh, networking through those groups. So you could do that today. So as we get off, you know, as soon as we get off of this live right here, you can start doing that ASAP. Gotcha. Thank you for answering that. Um, we'll see here. We got some good questions in there. Body by Tay. Hey, glad you're here tonight. Says I'm late to the party, but VA is in the house. Saul Rickenbacker. I see you. Thank you for being here. Um, Marcus Arnold says, Ty, I've been watching you since 2014. I drive trucks and just passed through the ham and thought about you, my man. Thanks for all the great info. Oh, uh, that, that's what's up, man. So, uh, your, your OTR? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like the, I'm asking him, I'm asking him if he is, if he's OTR. I'm, I'll let you know when he responds. Yeah. Yes. And I'm come. I'm uh, people um, uh, want to um, like the cold calling uh, virtual assistants that we use. Uh -huh. um, you know, I, I, they can you know access them now. Just say text the word scale, uh -huh. and they can um, they can access that now or whatever. Set up a consultation. But uh, I, you know, I when I come up with a good name, he says yes, sir. Okay, boom. Yes, That's sir. what's up. I'm uh, trying to get in that industry in an indirect way. Um, or whatever, more to come. Cold on calling it. virtual assistants. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like you know, virtual assistants that do cold calling. You know, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe some data work too, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I think I'm gonna try to make that easier to find. I came up with a name, and I guarantee you, oh, you're gonna love it. Okay. I hadn't even registered it. I need to register. You I just go ahead and do that right now. I ain't got to do it right now because ain't nobody gonna think of it. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now, nah. what does it have to do with? It's it's about um, providing you know uh, virtual assistant services. Is it available? The name? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going to be so easy to remember. It's going to be like wow, but it's amazing. You know, I like to play on letters and word make up words. It's one of those. It's one of it's those. One, okay. It's one of those. Okay. It's one of those. But you don't like none of mine. I'm sorry. I just had to say that out there and loud. I need everybody to hear. <laughs> just, just shoot down all my ideas. Uh, yes. See, yes. I have to. I have to. I have to uh, I, what what I have to do is like look at all the words associated with a with a with a thing, uh -huh. uh, and then I, I can put stuff together. You know that you know uh -huh. you have to push it. Now when you make up a word, you have to push it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like day later, people people know it now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. When they call prop stream, they confuse. They don't even know it's prop stream. They call, but you know they cool with it because they making money from it. But they don't even know it's prop stream. They call it day later. You know, that's a made up word. You know, I got a couple of more, but I'm just saying, mm -hmm. and Zomps hopefully will be the same thing. Zomps is going to be the same thing. Yep. And so, but this one is going to be just as good. Just as good. Probably easier to remember than the other two. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. But yes, Marcus is a OTR driver out of Houston, and he sees a lot of land in different states. So, yes, that's Marcus. Mm -hmm. hey, that's, that's what's and happening. Wendell Wendell said, "Go ahead and register that name today." Encouraging. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a done <laughs> deal, man. It's a done deal. I was watching. Uh, so I get it. I get inspired. Um, they told me that I'm not copying, but I got inspired by listening to somebody else about this. Some totally different, mm -hmm. and uh, how he he's he's um um sort of done the same thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, provided a, a similar service or access to. Um, a service that he was already using, you know. So, cool. obviously, a little cheese in it for me, hopefully. But you know, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's putting again Thai and Thai fashion printing services and making it really easy for you guys to have the tools that you need to be successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leticia oh, yeah. Hollis. Oh yeah, it's still available. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. Okay. Um, Leticia Holland says, "Can you do?" Oh, she just threw some across the room. That makes no sense. Okay. Um, one of the mics. Oh. Can you do closing virtually? If so, how do you know the buyers who they say they are? That's the title company. Figure that out. Well, yeah, that's yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. They gonna figure that part out before you get too far down the rabbit hole. Yeah, the title company is gonna figure that out. Uh, but now for you, um, well, buyers are just gonna just just move in a certain way. They're they just going to be with speed. Unless hard money or private lending is involved, 
it's all about speed when you're dealing with a real buyer. It's all about speed. Yeah. I'll never forget that one time I got to go with Ty to an event. That, can y'all believe it? He was speaking at, and there was this guy, and he was talking to this guy who was a real buyer. And I, for, I forgot what you asked. You asked the question, like, how fast do you close? And his question was like, how fast can you give me the address? It was just like... How fast can you get it to the title company? Like, yeah. I'm waiting on you. Like, you're not going to be waiting on me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be waiting on you to bring me the deal. I got the money. Don't worry about the yeah. money. Oh, I forgot we did Flip Anar then. That's good. That's hard to beat right there now. What? Flip Anar. Flip, yeah, Flip Anar was good. That, 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 and that just seems like, because when I hear webinar and I hear Flip Anar, it's, just, it's natural. Flip yeah. is, yeah. That's hard to beat. No, you right. Okay, you good at it. You good at it. All right, just just make up domain names and just you know resell. Just do that. Mm-hmm. But you know the dot com is not as important as it used to be because you still have to send. Well, it's really never, but you still have to send people there in some Correct. form or fashion. It really don't. Mm-hmm. It really don't matter. But I think people just naturally put dot com. Yeah, but things. if you're just trying to brand a name that people can remember. You know, then you know once the the site gets indexed in Google, then they because a lot of people don't type in blah 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 dot com. It populates for them automatically. Yeah, they, 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 they yeah, the you know what I'm saying. So they just do a search. Be clicking on anything. They clicking on anything. Anything that yeah. ain't even what you was looking for that yeah. popped up. They paid for that spot. Yeah, so we ready to go into Zomps? We got. We are ready to go into Zomps. So okay. tell us how to hack Zillow to wholesale wholesale real estate. Using zomps. Well, first of all, thumbnail critique. Oh, sorry. You start there. So I like this guy. He's like, he's what the zomps? Oh, what the zomps? Aha! See what you did there. Why is he in a parking lot though? Why he just in a parking lot? He, just, he's 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 about to take off. He's getting ready to take flight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what are you okay. missing? You see his head out the screen. He's about to. Oh, take that's flight. intentional. Yes. Oh, I thought you just popped it out. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was going to critique that part. Okay, so he's, oh, his feet are blurry because he's taking off yeah. into the sky because what the zonks, he's missing to go comp zonks some properties. I guess. Make okay. some bread, man. Okay, okay. Y'all that can see that, what y'all think? And you can get it. You can better with the thumbnails. Okay, uh, okay. that's what's you up. Can that's that's what's up. Okay, yeah. so, uh, yeah, so with that, okay, so, all right, so basically, now, um, um, I was, I don't even know how I came up with it. And I thought just thinking about saying, why Zillow? It just needs to be a little bit more simpler. It's User too much. Friendly. It's, it more, needs to be more wholesaler friendly. Wholesaler friendly. Okay. That's the, it needs to be more wholesaler friendly. It's actually better on the app per se, but on a desktop, which is normal where you can really just do some, some real due diligence on stuff or whatever. And um, I said, why is it not more investor wholesaler friendly? So I did find a guy that had um, uh, did the first version of one of the major things in it is being able to expand the entire map, Mm -hmm. right? And Mm -hmm. so I was like, okay. So I said, but that's all it did. I said, it needs to do more than that. And so uh, a few of the things, so we're going to get in here to it now. I did a video today and uploaded it. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to be able to watch the entire video. Now I, I somewhat show everything that it that I think it can do, and I'm going to be adding on more stuff and taking suggestions. Now some of it we're 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 at the mercy of Zillow and what their uh, servers will allow, okay. or whatever. Because it was some other stuff I wanted to do, but it just it just it's not available at this point, or whatever. So, uh, so what I'm going to do? Go ahead and share my screen. And hey, Cake Stan from Philly, it's your first time being here. Thank you for being right, here. So- Great. So we're just gonna go go to Zillow. Well, first let's go to Zomps. I'm sorry. So let's go over here to Zomps. Zomps. So that's a play on the word comps, of course. All right. So we're at Zomps.com. I must tell you, that's really nice. What? The site. It looks good. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. My boy. My boy. You know, he brought my little vision. You know, to Same. to life. Same guy. Oh yeah, yeah. That does okay. everything. Sorry, yeah. That. Yeah. And so, um, not not the graphic guy. You no, know, that's um, that's different. I know. I yeah, know. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the tagline, find deals faster with a smarter Zillow. That works? Yeah, Okay. Does. All right, so I have the actual uh, demo video here. 
But um, and you can get uh, daily later prop stream because it it works really well when you have something to research some of these properties. Not necessary, but it helps. Mm -hmm. So you go to five day free trial. You can get it. We'll train you on how to use you know prop stream daily later. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Some of the things that it do. So it has the expanded map. All right. Oh, first thing you must you can only do this on a desktop or a laptop. I know that eliminates a lot of people because a lot of people believe it or not. Smartphones only. Smartphone or tablet on and or tablet only. Okay. This is going to be worth getting to a laptop and or a desktop, even if it's okay. not yours. Now you're probably not going to be able to do this at a library. I don't know if they'll let you download an extension or not. I don't know how that works at a library. It's been a long time since I've been to the library to use a, a anything, right? Okay. Okay. So you have the expanded map, and so. Um, I'll show you that here, Sarah. I'm just going to go through some. So it makes it easy to search for foreclosures. Mobile home search. You wouldn't believe the number of mobile homes that are for sale on Zillow. On it's Zillow? amazing. Oh, my God. Yes. Wow. But I don't look for it in that way. Are they sitting on land? Mobile homes sit on a lot of land. Yeah. Right? A lot of them sit on one plus acre and acres and more. I seen one today. They were on 39 acres. Right. And what were they selling? Um, it was like on like two or three hundred thousand, you know. And that may be too so much. So not the mobile home. Yeah, but so it's, it's obviously not the mobile home, it's the right. land you're buying, it's just a mobile home there. But that gives an opportunity to add more mobile homes. You know, you mm -hmm. can probably pay a little bit more, but but just because you can add more mobile homes, now you can turn that probably into a or a potential investor into an income producing property. 10 acres, he may be able to put who knows how many mobile homes on there if there's not a lot of restrictions in there, which it normally is not. All right, a house for sale, the views per day. That's one of the best ways you can tell whether a property is hot or not is by the number of views per day on a property. So I made it simple to see it. You know, the, the information is there, but it all just automatically pops up on a property that is for sale, whether it's land or if it's, uh, if it's houses okay. for rent. Being able just to see what properties are renting for, I mean, uh, uh, using for rent properties as a source to find deals by potentially targeting tired landlords. Now, whenever you're doing your search, most of them will be listed with either a property management company, a broker, um, what am I talking? A broker or an agent. But occasionally, you'll see property listed by owner. Found one today when I was doing the um, the demo. The, own, the property in Florida and the owner lives in California. She's trying to manage it from California. Ooh. Those are the perfect ones that you want to reach out to, right? Right. Um, because they're trying to, <laughs> they try to do the impossible. Okay, so uh, now it's a great place. And a lot of you already know, a lot of you already know this, to arbitrage Airbnb opportunities. Okay, and then owner financing. People that uh, are landlords, they're great individuals to target, to transition them into an owner financial situation where they act as the bank. And when you see, you say no banks need it, that's one of those examples. Comp and properties. We just sort of did that for, we did it on land. We didn't do it on the house. We did it on land, right? Mm -hmm. But you can comp properties there. You can use rental comps to determine if it's an opportunity, if it already has a tenant in the property, or if you're trying to do some owner financing. What can the property rent for? That goes into you evaluating to see if it's a deal or not. Comping land. Now, we just did do that. So I don't have to explain that. We sort of did that. Zip code search. You know you can do that. But I didn't know you could do a neighborhood search uh, in uh, prop in uh, Zillow. It'll just outline the entire. It'll just create a boundary around that entire neighborhood. That helps you comp a property really easy, a lot easier when you can just stay in the area where those properties are selling at in that particular area. Then a multifamily search, a great way to, to scout the entire country quickly on mobile on multifamily that's for sale. Why is that makes, uh, why does that matter? Because now a lot of these are uh, duplexes, fourplexes, normally it gets five or more. And most people know they can, <laughs> they need to um, hire a, um, go to the commercial broker side of it. But occasionally <coughs> you'll see eight units, 10 units, 20 units that are listed through a residential agent on Zillow. Normally that means a mom and pop is an opportunity to probably get a good deal because they're not sophisticated investors as the one that normally deal with commercial brokers. <coughs> 
So let's get over here to Zillow. I just want to go through some of that. Zomps. Zomps. That was on Zillow, but no, nah, we're, on, we're on Zillow now. So once you down, oh, let me show you how to download the extension. So, so what you do is just go here, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the extension, and then I'm going to add it back. So now, so it's just that simple. So hit add uh, to Chrome, hit add extension. So is it best to run Boom. Zomps through Chrome, or can it run through Firefox too? Chrome only. It's a Chrome extension. You see, Chrome it says extension. Chrome Web Store. It's just a Chrome extension. Gotcha. So now it's added. All right. So, uh, so it's, we ain't gonna go through all of this. So let, let me let me just show like a quick like if people always ask about foreclosures. Here's a simple way to look for them. So okay. what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me do Houston, Texas. All right. Okay. So I'll go in here. Let me change the filter. Go to sale and just look at foreclosures. Hit apply. Right, and we'll do uh, houses and hit apply. And uh, I'm going to remove the boundary. So now the screen lights up. Mm -hmm. So these are going to be your uh, foreclosures just all over the country as you move around to different areas of the country. And I keep clicking on one of them. I can go down here in Florida. It's going to just show you what's all available down here right as i move up the map boom it's going to show you what's available so you click on anything going to show you uh this property here this is in uh blakely georgia wherever wherever that is been on uh 62 views per day a mm, little interest there it's uh been on the market 27 days 1600 views 41 save you know um it's probably going to sell close to that amount a little interest there Normally, I like to see stuff over 100, 100 views. All right, that's just doing the foreclosure search. I ain't going to go through all of this. All right, so, um, and I'm going to do individual video. Even though I did a long video going through everything, mm -hmm. I'm going to do individual short videos on each one of them. Okay, so uh, let's do something else. Uh, let's do uh, let's do the multifamily deal here real okay. quick. Let's do that. All right, so we're going to do multifamily. Mm -hmm. And we'll hit apply. Okay. So these are everything that's for sale, right? Okay. So as I as I as I zoom out here, it'll populate. So you'll see that they're dots because again, Zillow is the residential Google. It's for residential real estate, it's the Google. So multifamily really ain't they thing, but they have it there, and these could be some opportunities. So let me just click on one of these here and see what comes up. Now, sometimes it'll be two houses on a property. A lot of them be duplexes, like I said. You'll have your four plexes. Okay, like this one, the best opportunity, one, three, or four-bedroom unit with a rental and one one-bedroom cottage, history of 670. So that's basically like, like I said, two houses on one property there. Okay, let's do another one just out of the blue here. All right, now this is a uh, duplex here. Just looking at the two doors there. Um no, actually, it's a triplex. Say, who the, the driveway, though? Yeah, the, 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 uh, tree, uh, the tree is hiding one of them. So, actually, this is a triplex here in uh, Martinsville, Virginia. Uh, been uh, getting 88 views per day. So, there's a little interest there. Been on the market only 13 days. A lot of work needed. Uh, and that's the truth. Um, this is one that you'll reach out to us if they want to do some owner financing, right? Uh, whenever you make your offer. You need some time to get in there to get things right. All right, let's look. Let's go over here. Where is this at? This is in Bristol, Tennessee. 69 views per day. Um, what is this? This is another triplex. Interesting. All right, let's. Uh, porch. Like, I'm, I'm confused. Like, you just converting existing houses into triplexes. Um, so, who gets the driveway? Who gets the porch? Like, if all three of us here, like, no, no. Uh, here's another one right here. What is this right here? This is a duplex. What do you think about this one? That's nice there, right? That's nice, but what my entrance where your entrance? Like, is it a oh, I don't know. They it looks like it must have been built that way. I don't know. Uh, I guess it's in the rear. I guess it's in the rear. Uh what the notes say? Immaculate finish, three bedroom, three full bath, in the reverse uh, water dual, master bedrooms, open. Oh, no, that ain't duplex. Uh is there it is. Uh let me see. Uh reasonable. Already 300 yards. 
Why do they have okay? They just they got the wrong code on this one, but I don't see where it says there's an extra room here. Beautiful clubhouse, basketball, 300 miles away. Um, you don't see nothing there? Nope, I ain't seen nothing. Okay, there. you don't, don't see nothing on that one. Okay, that, okay, so they do play most of family. Okay, now let's, let's just jump over here. What we got here? What does this say? Oh, that's a triple white. Uh, says so two bedroom, one bath, and a one car garage attached. And then uh, 1131, the right, right unit, is three bedroom, two bedroom, one part. Okay, boom, another one. Now it has a look at those views on that one 261 views per day. Ooh, ain't no bites though. Ain't, no, ain't nobody, they must not, they must, um, they can't figure it out like they, me. They, they must, uh, they must be bidding it up. Who knows? Um, but I think you get the point here. Um, Let's go. Let's go over to lot in this 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 K the California market. Let's see what's going on California, down here in uh, L A. All right, so in this area, so let's do one here. Two May two point two. Lord have mercy. Hey Anna. Hey Paul. <laughs> All right, so newly built <laughs> turnkey home. Um, this duplex leaves. Uh, this duplex leaves nothing to be desired. Wow. The front unit is 6,000 square feet. The front unit, <laughs> yeah, that's not what's... the whole thing, just the front unit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Are yeah, that's serious? what's up. Yeah, 10,000 square feet total. Yeah. 294 views, though. Wow, uh, it, that's it, it, crazy. It's going to probably go. So that's why I was telling these people. I'd be homeless It's like we were, our first boy, uh, <laughs> first, first person came up, Noble Don, or whatever yeah, his name yeah, was. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's what people can afford out there. With this many views, that means somebody's gonna take this down. Oh somebody's gonna take it down. A duplex. Yes, or a duplex. Two point two, baby. <laughs> there it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. One point three, a quadruplex. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's uh, three, two now, bedroom, one bath unit. Now it hadn't and gotten a a and a studio. Hmm. I'd be in the studio. Yeah. Right? With the Murphy's bed. That's it. That's right. Just, yeah, okay. So <laughs> let's go up here. You know, we never, we don't even get really calls from up in this market up here in Oak. But we did get some, we get some Oakland sometime, but not San Francisco. W wonder why. All right. So uh, uh, let's see what we got up in here, just real quick, just out of curiosity. Oak Town, city of dope. All right. Um, James, you tell Turn. him. He says there's 144 people on Ty's live in this section at this moment and only eight thumbs up. Button, hit, thumb, hit. Oh, yeah, man, the gentleman's hit. agreement. Boom. Yes, gentleman's agreement. All right, so um, so I think you see the feature as for the mobile home. I mean, the main, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, multi-family. Okay. All right, let's do the mobile home real quick, then we'll, we'll, call, it quits on we'll call it quits on it. Okay, so we're going to do the mobile home search. Are we looking for land, right? So I'm gonna zoom out. Well, they say do Vegas, do Vegas. Do, oh, oh, what on the man on the uh multifamily? Yeah, let's yeah. do Vegas. Okay, we'll do, do Vegas. Vegas. All right, so let's do Las Vegas. See, she with me. Murphy Bed in the kitchen island. <laughs> Let me see. Las Vegas. It's down Ooh. here. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was the south southern part of um Nevada. What I know. All right, so here we go. Quadruplex. Quad. Okay. Got a lot of views here. 265. Gonna probably go. Um, been on the market one day. Oh yeah. They gonna that, that, that's gonna rip. Six night set six six twenty eight. Two and three bedroom floor plan. All right, six twenty eight. Scroll, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. What did it say? Seven twenty five monthly HOA fee. So I gotta Man, them HOA fees be busting heads. Man. Oh yeah, seven. So, oh, seven twenty-five a month. A month. Like, what, what am I what paying is, you to do? You taking the grass? You doing the lawn? You taking out the trash? What is that a you, year? You, Let me see. Pressure washing. That's eighty-seven hundred a year. Just for the HOA fees. Uh, that, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't. People moving in the new neighborhoods. That's uh, ridiculous. All right, so okay. let's look at this one here. So this is four fifty. All right, one hundred and twenty-nine right. views per day on this one. It's another quad. Fourplex. Mm -hmm. 
it don't say nothing about no HOA on this thing, so you can calm down. Thank you. All right. Sure. <laughs> so I got 129 views. Okay, decent, decent warm, a little bit, you know, too too hot to put your hand on the stove. All right, let's look at this one right here, 540. Another quad. That might be a common thing out there. Now, this one is hot right here. Look at that. 349 Ooh. views. Yeah, two days on the mark. So it's going to so probably go for that. Ones. They're all two ones. Yeah, good. all two ones. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Oh, that's cool. Um, Let's go back to that one. Let me see. Uh, Is it listed or? Okay, yeah, listed by agent. Okay, boom. So, yeah, so we went to Las Vegas for them on the uh, multi family, right? right. Um, somebody want me to go somewhere else? <laughs> 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 I'm with you. She said, "Can we go to a broke market so I can at least afford the EMD?" But well, well, uh, broke market. Let's, let, let's go. Let's go to Birmingham, Alabama. I was say, come on, home. Come, come on home. Let's go to Birmingham, Alabama. All right. So let's go over here down in Fairfield. All right. And what we got here? Oh, yep. That look like this. Here we go. That's just a duplex. No, ain't no way. That's why. That's long. Oh, that can't be a duplex. Is that what it says? That's what it, it says. says dude. Duplex, duplex ready for its next owner. Yeah. Oh, that's northbound over there by miles. That that's not right. It must be. Wait a minute. That's what it say. You gonna tell these? That can't right? be right. That's more than that's more than two units. Oh, must be miles or two. Yeah, that's more than two units. How come half can't be one and half be the other? Maybe it's, maybe it's two different properties. Got to be. All right. So that's uh, let's see what this down in Brighton. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh, mm. And they clown. They want 234. 234? <laughs> no, no. In Brighton. In Brighton. No. In Brighton. Okay. No, no, that, no, no, no. Like no, 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 no. All right. What this is right here. So um, uh, how many units is this? Uh, this is an eight-unit property here. Do for 374. Right there, no bumper, so that's yeah. <laughs> and they got the they got an old snow <laughs> picture up here. You know that's a long ain't that snow? No, nah, it's just a bad that, picture. That's a bad picture. <laughs> a bad picture. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Uh yeah. I'm so good. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh only 25 views, which means uh possibly overpriced. All right. Okay, so that's over okay, that's over in that, that um McDonald Chapel. Type area, whatever, maybe Wildem. Uh, let's see what we got here. Four ninety nine. Okay, this is a nice size unit here. Forty nine views per day. Uh, this is another eight, eight unit. Uh, this is over in Inslee. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know where that is. Okay, uh, been on the market. They already cut it twenty six thousand. They oh wow. Okay, so been on the market twenty three days. Okay, mm -hmm. only getting forty nine views per day. Let's go up here to Gardendale. What is this up here? All right, so it's a quad. That's like a house, but it says it's a quad. <laughs> um, six views per day, which means it's drastically overpriced. Three neighboring homes at five. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that's what they're doing. That's how they're getting down. What this is right here. All right, so this is another duplex. This is over sort of, hmm, I could be a lot of different places. North Birmingham. Uh, well, probably Evergreen Bottom, something like that. Um, twelve ninety five a month. Uh huh. Very good uh -huh. and desirable duplex on a large, beautiful lot, earning oh maybe not twelve ninety five each. Twelve oh, ninety five oh, combined. Oh, okay, I, total. Baby, it's not even meeting the real one percent rule. Okay, that's a little okay. overpriced. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's in a broke market. <laughs> there you go. A you lower, asked for a it. lower <laughs> price market. There you go. So yeah, uh, so but let's do the mobile home thing really quick, so we can look at some land. And then we do that first. No, we did foreclosures first, right? No, we did land with the comp when Tierra came on. Oh we no, but I, I, I was just saying how you use mobile, do a mobile home search to find land. Oh okay, you know large yeah. tracts no, of land. We did not do that. Yeah, we so this is outside that. of T Town right here. Hey, let's see what we got. What All right, the Northport. Okay, Northport. All right, so. Um, this is sitting on, so if I go down here to facts and features, mm -hmm. see more facts and look at property details, 1.15 acres, they're asking 149, not a lot of views on it. I mean, it's overpriced, right? This one here, um, uh, 18 acres. Woo! 18 acres. That's, but, that's nice, though. Oh, yeah. That's the same wide. Let like. it look like, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, oh, they, they, they rent nice. they they renovated that or that's a new rig. Oh, that's a new rig. Oh, 
It's probably a new rig. Cause that's that's really nice. I won't you won't put that much money in. You just oh wow, a lot of it's clear too. Look at that, lady. Oh, okay, three forty one. That's got what's a up. Creek in the back. Yeah, got some gators. Okay, not a lot of views though. Uh, how long has it been on the mark? Thirty six days. Not a lot of views. Twenty one per day up here. But um, let's look at something else. Uh, Oak Grove. Uh, 152, how many acres? Three acres. That's so, mine. yeah. So, um, I think you guys, okay, this is built in 96 right here. So, I think you get the point two views per day, which is not a lot of activity, been on the market 220 days, which normally means it's overpriced, right? Right. Okay. So, uh, so we didn't, we've zumped it. So, if you want to start to use it, and uh, I'm going to be doing more training on it, where is the site? Okay, yeah, zomps.com. <clears throat> what you could do is, I'll stop the screen. You could text ZZ. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, text ZZ. As in ZZ Tops. As in Z, at the, Z in the beginning, Z at the end. Okay. <laughs> ZZ. <laughs> First name Z, last name Z. <laughs> uh, ZZ. And uh, that'll send you over to the site. But you can just, um, and you can also see the, the training video there on the site too. So, cool. Boom. CB, CB, you ready? We got CB and uh, Eon. I think I said that right. Yeah. 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 CB, you, I can see you moving in the dog, but I see, I see your face. There you go. I'm bringing you on. Hey there. How you doing this evening? All right, how you guys doing? We're doing good. Where are you joining us from? Uh, Indiana. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to um, ask Ty about the um, um, proof of funds. The uh, oh. seller asked me for proof of funds, and of course I don't have that much money uh, for the house. And I was trying to figure out how to get him to text him the proof of funds. Okay, so now, uh, first of all, is this a great deal? Okay, um, it's a, um, a three bedroom, uh, one 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 bedroom. I mean, one bathroom. Let's and start here. Asking, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. He's 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 asking. At first, he said seventy five thousand. Then I uh, talked him down to seventy thousand. Uh, now we in negotiation, trying to come down to. I said 40, 45. He said 50. So we're somewhere around there. Um, uh, what's, what's, was, what's the, what's the ARV on, what's the ARV on it though? It was, uh, 85, uh, 85,000 is what it was comped at. Well, yeah, that's not a deal. So you always want to use uh, my deal calculator, right? Because it's going to, if it does nothing else, it's going to prevent you from wasting time on stuff that not, it's going to prevent you from wasting time on stuff that has no chance of being a deal. It is so important that you use that calculator because if you were to put that 85 and I can show you really quick. Um, uh -huh. uh, let me let me just share my screen here. Um, if you were to put that 85,000 in there, uh, if you go to dealerlater.com, everyone is free. Dealerlater.com, and we put eighty five thousand in here. Even if the repairs were a hundred dollars, which we know they're probably not. All right, you see what those number? And you say you're going to make a thousand dollars, which you know you're going to probably want to make more than that. Even with that, you're below sixty thousand already at fifty four five. And I just put some ridiculous numbers in there. He wants seventy. You know the right, number. Right, no. He had told me. He had told me that uh, he he would uh, at least want to get fifty, so he wouldn't. Be a losing. That's what he said. He claimed to have put fifty in, which I don't know. But yeah, um, uh, he's claimed to put fifty in it. Yeah, he said uh, he would like to go at least fifty thousand. Okay. <laughs> um, so I was gonna, uh, but he wanted proof of uh, funds. So once I got that, I was going to tell him, okay, I I go with fifty thousand. Okay. So you've seen the house? Yes. What does it look like? Um, it looks it, it looks nice. Okay. He redid everything. It was it, it it was basically like a shell, all torn up. 
and he did everything up, saying that it doesn't need any more work done uh, done on it. Uh, what, what's the address? Oh, oh, God. Oh, I don't have that with me right now. All what right. is it, seven, seven, I think it was 732 East 47th Avenue. I think it was 732. I know the one next to it is 737 because I was looking at that one too. Uh, what city? Gary, 46409. You said seven. Okay. And you said his, uh, so his must be across the street or something? No, it's, it's next door. His is next door to the 737. Okay, so that wouldn't be 732 then because that's an odd and an even. Right, right, right. right. Um, so this is 737 right here. So that, is it this one, this one? No, Which it would be is? the one next to it, right next to it. Right here? On 47th Avenue, yeah. Okay. Is his name, uh, is, it in, is it in an LLC? No, uh, what was his name? Uh, wow, let me try to get my thing. I was driving. <laughs> uh, um, well, I could probably just comp just from this uh, on properties in that area. All right, so... <laughs> Me and Ghost had uh, comped it, and it came up to like uh, she said eighty five thousand. Okay. Oh. Nope. Don't want that one. I just parked. I'm trying to. Yeah, I must have that. Well, oh, now, I mean, well, just to just to um, just just to let you know. Now, if you're just trying to get proof of funds, then you can uh, go to realpof.com if you want to pursue this. Uh, well, I tried that, and uh -huh. I couldn't. I couldn't pull it up. And then, um, um, Ghosty had texted me something with flip. You know, with uh, your thing on it. And it told me to uh, email that email. Tell yeah, me about yeah you just have to follow the, instru the instructions there. Just email and they'll, they'll respond back to you. Yeah, I haven't gotten a response. Okay, what you want to do is include the address of the property, your name uh, who as the buyer, and the amount that you're wanting to approve of funds for. Okay. Um, uh, I should put more than what He's asking for it, right? As far as proof of funds. No, just just do it for the, the fifty thousand. That that you know that's what you're buying it for. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Okay. But uh, appreciate you joining us, though. Let us know how that turns out. Okay. Oh, uh, one more thing. I wasn't able to find uh, the uh, contract you was using. I have a a, a contract, but. I would like it's to right, it's it. right, it's right here on dealerlater.com. Um, I'm putting it back up here. Um, right here on the site. Uh, right here where it says agreement forms. There's the contract right there. Okay, and and are you using the same contract for the seller and the buyer, or you? Uh, definitely the seller. Things? The buyer. The buyer may want to use something different, but you know it just needs to reflect you know the same terms that you have with your seller. Mm -hmm. And uh. It's something on there about how I would be getting my portion, correct? Uh, well, yeah, you just have to watch the videos on 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 that because uh, it breaks all of that down. Right, right. I had got um, I had gotten into the um, videos where you can check off for uh, what you've watched one time. And I can't seem to pull it up again. I don't know. Um, not too good. Well, all you have to do is just go to YouTube and do a search for Flip Man and Contract. It's going to be tons of videos of mine just showing you how to fill it out. Okay, but I was trying to find the uh, site where I can click and let them know how, you know, how many videos I have watched, like level one, level two, whatever it was saying. Now, if you're talking about the training, you have a dashboard that you should be able to log into. Hmm. Uh, you know, that part of I wouldn't be able to walk you through. You know, you're going to have to get somebody to help you with that. If you're yeah, not found comfortable, that. With, comfortable using a computer. Okay. All righty. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Thank you. All right. Um, welcome. How are you?
I am doing well. Good evening. Where are you live streaming from? Hey, um, Maryland. Oh, Maryland. that's what's happening. <laughs> How can I help you? Yeah, Ty, thank you so much for the free content. Thank you. So yes, I sir. I bought to your program sometime last year, some uh, summer, I want to say May. Yes, ma'am. But um, yesterday, so I've been um, trying to educate myself you know, on and off. But uh, yesterday, I signed up for the um, Do You Later prop stream. So I'm trying to um, get a hang of that. But I remember that you had said to... I didn't yeah, remember... Yeah, if you, if, you want, if you want training on it, just text yeah. the word time. Time. To, uh, yeah, T-I-M-E to 205-964-5243. Uh -huh. And uh, that link there will allow you to you know schedule on the calendar uh, when you're available. Good, good. Thank you. So now I'm on prop prop stream. Okay. Mm -hmm. I um, okay. I pulled up this house, um, sixteen twenty six McHenry Street. Uh huh. The owner wants fifty five thousand for it. I have. Well, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me pull it up for you. Hold on. Let me get in here. Thank you. All right. Uh, what's the address again? One six two six. Mark Henry, MC Henry, one word. Street, and that's in Baltimore. You said Mick Henry? Yeah, MC Henry, Mac Henry, Street. Okay. Baltimore, MD, 21223. Okay, all right. So um, this appears to be a. Yeah, there's no picture for it, it's just a um, Google Map picture. Mm -hmm. um, I have yet to con contact. Is that the one you're pulling up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Zillow is not showing me that. Are you you on pop stream, right? Yeah. Um. It, it it automatically shows a photo here. So this is simplified. If I click here and click here, and then I can blow it up, and then I drop. So if it gives you this blue line here, then that means you can see what it is. And so that red dot is where the property is located. But that's fine. All okay. right. So. Um, what I, um let me so let me so uh let me let me comp it for you really quick. So they own one other property. So this is a row house, so it's a little tricky on those sometimes, especially up in that B more area. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here. What I don't like just looking at this off the top. Um, um I guess we got one. We got uh where this property is located uh in this particular particular building but it's on this block so we can use number three and number five generally i like to stay right in here uh when i'm looking at baltimore and definitely like philadelphia when you're looking at these row houses so number three and number five are going to probably be similar to our property 1920 you said number three minute, yeah number three and number five uh that i'm looking at here so um let me blow this back up so people can see it so ideally, we don't want to cross all these major streets here, these sticker white lines, sticker yellow line. So we have two properties there that fit in that window. All right. So then we're going to look at the year built, um, uh, 1920. So that's number three and number five. Both of those fit that criteria. Now, number three sold for 20000 then number nine sold for 190000 <laughs> That's ridiculous, ain't so, Yeah, so it's a difference, huge difference. But the square footage, um, the lot square footage is going to be the same, but it doesn't have square footage of the properties themselves, which is okay. I'm assuming they're about the same. Um, I hate to do that. Well, let's do this. Uh, so ours is 720. Let's go to Zillow. Ty. Since we Ty. have the magic wand now. Ty. All right, so it sold for 190 And it looks like it was in pretty good condition when it sold for that amount. Still doesn't show the square footage up here, though which I don't like. Um, so um, just going back here. So he wants to sell it for 50 grand? 55. 55? That's what okay. it is for. But All right. Go I, ahead. I, have yet, I have yet to talk to the owner because I just found this and I just I put it into prop stream, okay? Now I, I clicked on the comparables and nearby listings. That I'm not sure... I just want to be sure we're looking at the same thing, Ty, because uh, the yeah, well, what, the what, 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 as far as what, what do you mean? Look at the same thing. It should, this is Trudy uh, Black, right? 
Uh, I hate this. I say the name out there like that, but so that's the name that you're showing, right? No, I'm on prop stream. I'm on prop stream also. Okay. Okay. And I'm showing value. Does that mean the value no, of the asset? No, no, no. You don't, you just don't even never look at that. You, you didn't see what I just was looking at here? No, because you are moving so fast. You know, you're a pro, you know? I'm yeah, yeah. No, okay. Let, let's slow down then. Just tell me to slow down. It's, it's fine. Exactly. All right, so, so I'm on comparable. I'm on the comparables and new nearby listings. That's where exactly. you always want to start. Yes, that's I'm where I'm at. If the MLS data is there, you want to go ahead and select MLS, right? It's on so both. I, so go I back. Blew, yeah, MLS. I blew up the map, and then this is being recorded, so you can go back and watch as much as you want to. All mm -hmm. right, I like the map version of this. So the red dot is your property. So uh, this block, you got West Pratt Street, and then you got South, um, what is this? South Mount Street, I think that is. And then on the other side, you got South Vincent, and then you got McHenry. So that's the, the square block there. So we only have two comps here that I really want to use just off the top, number three and number five, because it's in that general area. So knowing that, and I selected the MLS data. So now I'm just going to look at number three and number five. So this is number uh, five. And then this is number three. Number three only sold for $20,000. But number five sold for one ninety. dollars Now, I don't see the square footage of it. I can only assume it's similar to um, our property. And I don't see the square footage of our property either. I'm not sure why it's not pulling that up. It's but that's fine. It's showing 920 on Zillow. Okay. All right. So uh, with that being said, that 190 that sold back in August of uh, of last year, that's going to probably be your comp for it. So if they want 50, depending on the condition, uh, it's, uh, it's, it sounds like it would be a good number. I don't know what the repairs would be. So it's hard to just tell you for sure. Yeah. Uh, but uh, those um, 36,800. I went with not non livable. Okay, so you're basically at forty grand then. So yeah, basically, yeah. Um, so if we do forty thousand, if we round up and mm -hmm. we add the uh, ARV on it, and these these are row houses, tricky though, but we're gonna roll with this, and um, we're gonna put forty thousand in here. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, even if you say you want to make ten grand, so you're at eighty three. So just on the surface, it seems like it's a deal. Maybe I'm missing something, but on the surface, it seems like it's a deal. Are you saying 83 grand for the ARV? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, the ARV is 190 uh -huh. is what I'm showing here. Um, and then repairs 40. Uh -huh. And then the, see the blue number is what your offer would be, but he wants less than that amount. So I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. a little, I'm sort of a little afraid of that because with that significant discount, uh, yeah. maybe I'm missing something right in here because even though these properties are in this same general area as far as I don't, I guess you call this a block or so, uh, they're on the opposite ends, which things could change on from one end to another. Uh, as far as what I know, the little I know about Baltimore when I was up there uh, a few years back, you know, it just can change from basically from building to building or whatever. Um, you can see so many vacant properties in a building and that just makes it difficult to come up with a real value. When uh, across the street or maybe uh, half a block down, it's totally different ball game. So, uh, assuming those numbers are right, um, then yeah, you want to go ahead and try to pursue it and reach out to them. Mm. Okay. All right, we'll do that. I'm definitely gonna um, um, go back to this video and look at it again, so I can you know better familiarize myself with the um, you know navigate navigating on prop stream. Okay. Not definitely get that um, the training. Okay, no problem at all. Yeah. Well, please uh, join us again. We'll do. Thank you, Ty. Uh, no problem at all. Thank all right. you, Thank you lady. Yeah, I didn't right. get your name. Sorry. I'm Adrian. 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 Thank you. Yeah, right. Can't forget Adrian. Thank That's you, Adrian. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye. All right, boom. All right, so uh, Zomps, guys, uh, get over there. Uh, you can go to Zomps.com, or you can text ZZ to the number that'll make it easy for you. Uh, opportunity to make it easier if you find something, some land, some multifamily, 
uh, hit me up. Um, I'll definitely be interested, especially if you negotiate a great deal. Not my preference if it's listed, but we can work around it possibly if the deal is attractive enough, especially if you can set up some owner financing. So uh, Zomps is something we'll be promoting from here until the end. And what is it, A3I? Huh? Oh, um, no, we've been rolling hard, man, hour 40. Um, so um, uh, with that being said, guys. Uh, Atlanta Cash Buyers is still available. Yeah, that too. But uh, yeah, that too. Uh, Atlanta Cash Buyers available. And uh, as I said, the gentleman's agreement, we don't ask for much. Get you at least subscribe to the channel, share, like, and we'll see you guys next week. Flip man, flip man, it's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash.